dangerous women. The shame of aging and the superiority of the imagined life are the key themes in the famous poem, The Love Song of J. Alfred Prufrock. T.S. Eliot considered titling the poem Proof Rock Among the Women. It's abundantly clear that dangerous women is a key theme of the poem. One interpretation of the poem is that Proof Rock seeks the courage to declare his feelings to a particular woman. Yet he never actually speaks to a woman in this poem. He only imagines speaking to her, and what he imagines is never hopeful. Proof Rock can't imagine any woman saying anything positive about him. He seems queasy at the thought of women's actual bodies or faces and tries to justify his squeamishness by emphasizing women's dangerous qualities. He'd like to open his heart to the woman he loves, but he fears her response would be even crueler than beheading him. Proof Rock is projecting his own emotions onto others. The only women whom Prufrock portrays in a wholly positive light are the imaginary mermaids he envisions living with in chambers of the sea. For Prufrock, that's probably better than if they were real women. For Prufrock, the shame of aging is a source of anxiety. Prufrock seems particularly concerned about his bald spot. He frets that people are laughing at him behind his back. In reality, no one has been making fun of Prufrock but himself. He curses himself for not being brave, and then, piling on the self-hatred, decides everyone thinks he looks old. Prufrock isn't necessarily old, but is Eliot's projection of what it might feel like to be old. To be someone who's no longer attractive, who cannot connect, who's standing at a distance from his own life. In the poem, the imagined life is superior. Prufrock doesn't engage much with reality in the poem, spending it caught up in his swirling thoughts. He does not enjoy obsessing the way he does, and yet he must in some way prefer obsession to action. Although he claims to want love, he can't bring himself to make the effort to obtain it. Prufrock's head is an uncomfortable place to live, but he believes he'd be even unhappier if he tried to express himself and met rejection.